You are watching the Gopher and Tuck Show. This is the intro and later is the outro. We need a sponsor. Please sponsor us. Mentos Variety. I would need power and we're pros. Tucker needs him a new remote. Jumping for joy like an emote. Suck to our channel, no remote. Gopher fell off the edge. Here we go. We're at the coronation for old Tommen. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Because reasons. Mira. What up? I'll meet you inside. How's it going, dude? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm here, Jet. In there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Stuff. Uh, and things. I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew stuff, that, I wouldn't be here. Look. I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. Get right if you to don't it. Help me. I'll tell everyone your secret. I told you her everyone. confidence. Yeah. You'd really use that against me. Of course. I would. <clears throat> Fine. Of course I would, bitch. God. I'll get you into that party. But after that, you're on your own. I mean, I could just blackmail you again with the same information. I still have the information. Like, you doing this doesn't mean I don't know that. She's with me. Don't look you at me. Stay out of trouble. I promise. You, yeah, you, you move. You get, out of, you get out of the way. Give me that fucking look. You summon a gun. I had to punch you in the chin. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat in the Iron Throne. Yeah, but he was a Thomas dick. King now. Long may he reign. It ain't gonna be long, spoilers. Sarah. I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. Your old She's Garibald Tarwick. Lovely. Where have you been hiding? Don't don't look at me like you're like fifty. You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. Mm. I don't care much for flattery, my lord. Yeah. Well then. Yeah. I'll yeah. be sure to spare you any further compliments. Thank you. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. You, you just gonna make a fucking poison joke? After what it's happened? It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! Hi. Damn, ignored his ass. Get fucked. What was that about? Get fucked. Nothing. <laughs> William H. Macy. Is anyway. <gasps> so that guy looks at me. My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Yeah, they're pretty delicate. <laughs> no, that's small. What? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? Yes. Uh, let's go with this. I'm sorry, I, I I'm I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No. I can get it myself. Yeah. Thank you. I can do my own shit. If you'll excuse me. Away from me, a creepy old fuck. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! I got a big head. Ridiculous. Big ol' head. Here's that guy. That's, that's the one guy who... Because... <laughs> Shit! I'm good. Do some eavesdropping. Okay, just gonna eavesdrop on them from over here. I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. Wild and crazy. Lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Such mm, as. What would that be? We. No, no, no. I can see Whee. what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Okay. Well, that was useless. Cool. Cool. Uh, I'll see you drop on these. These peoples. I'm just gonna go sit on this bench. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. 
Wasn't he a Lannister? Mm, I'm talking about that guy. Wee 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 wee. Going all around the thing. I hear they've spared no expense. All right. Okay, a little update on the uh, on the search for the murderer, which was the the the, 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 the one kid with the deep voice in self defense. You know, Gary knows a little something about that. Okay, uh, okay, so I can eavesdrop on these two now from the same spot I was eavesdropping other ones on, I guess. I guess she just has her back to one specific direction, and, 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 and that, that means that's the way she can hear. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Okay, they're just telling some stupid shit. Okay. Uh, let's eavesdrop on these two now. Get a little bit of eavesdropping on Andros. But I know how to speak. But how did you manage it? Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah. Why yeah. he trusts me above all others? Okay. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. All oh, right. Exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. If you consider these nuts. Hmm. Another yawn, sorry. Okay, I was going to say, is that, is that it? Okay, cool. Cool. So that guy's the fucker in all this. Okay, nothing over there. Oh, okay, let's get some wine. That is what I said I was going to do, so there you go. Let's, 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 let's drink. Let's get our drink on. Alright, see you later, William H. Macy. Uh, anything else for me to. Okay, so I can talk to Andros. Can I talk to the other dude? Yeah, let's talk to the other dude. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> what up, dude? Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. It'd I be like that. means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick what? work of it. Go with that. I tell you how I did it? What's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> But I admire the goal. I Good. do believe King's Landing I have a goal better. Right on you. So, what have you been up to? Stuff and such. Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must Go want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But yeah. now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? <coughs> yeah, explain that, bucko. That you know most of the story already. Some of it. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. That's a big boy. And the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. What a fucker. Quickly people forget where they started. You know, it'll be like that. Yes, we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't True. thought of it that way. Any me and enemy is my friend. Perhaps you'll have better mm -hmm. luck against Andros and his new partner. Who's the new partner? Lyman Lannister. Oh, we got He's Lannister. With a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. Ah, oh, the old William H. Macy, okay. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your hey, opinion. Hey, here. hey, 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 but out. Please excuse me. Alright, I'd see you. So you dude. Okay, Mr. Mr. William over here, Mr. William H. Macy over here. So I can eavesdrop again. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do some eavesdropping. Let's see what they got here. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. No, keep on going about it. My friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. True. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. I mean, for some it's the same, you know, for some it's the same. Protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. That dude is just, is just trying so hard to fucking hit him with the, uh, oh, that's crazy. And he just won't shut up. Let's talk to Lyman. What up, Lyman? Um, excuse me. If that is your real name. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> 
Bruder. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, you're all right. I wouldn't say fine. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. Yeah, that's me. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? Uh, I'm not the stuff. Symphony, I'm afraid. Uh, or were you headed for the wine, and I got in your way? I already got the wine. You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes, we do some business together. What kind of business? I, I really shouldn't talk about it. You shouldn't. Andros but you could. me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like. You can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What up? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. And okay, Ross, We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Yeah. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this. As plainly as I can. What big as fuck? Don't ever meddle in my affairs again. Rude. Just gonna grab that man. Oh, here comes Marjorie to be upset with me again. I'm just gonna be over here, uh, trying to hide it. She's coming directly towards me. Cool. Lady Marjorie. Yeah, you, you go ahead and you, you get that interception right there. That guy, he seems like a bit of a dick. Hi! That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh, man. I can handle Lord Andros. Yeah. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just oh. be careful around him. All right? How about this? we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. Yeah. I'm curious about Sarah. Sexually? Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. Yeah, sure. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting. Nah, I gotta tell her that she's a bastard. Funny thing is, the last <clears throat> Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right. Oh, oh I am more than willing to, to you spill this shit. Understand. I can't court a woman just because I like the way she well. laughs. I need to know her family, her mm. parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells. This guy's not important when enough. I was at High oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, now you speak up about the thing. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. Okay. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks, just to keep from screaming. For weeks. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. This is the story that's so not that's fit for a man. He shakes. This is dude's addicted to milk. That lady Mira. Milk of the poppy, I'm whatever sure that actually is. Don't have a medicinal shit. Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. So basically, he's addicted to painkillers. Secrets. You'd be horrified if everyone knew. I won't tell. I promise. I can make a lot of promises. I'd hate for actually, Lord keeping the promises. Well. Back to me. But I can make a lot of them. You learned that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Ooh. Okay, well, and you know, the black water is no pretty big. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. 
Oh, he's trying to fuck. Even though she's like 50 years younger than him. Maybe Mira. Yeah, well, maybe like 30. 25, 30, somewhere in that range, I would say. Younger than him. Yo, time for me to finish this chat I was having. <laughs> Although he knows I'm a forester now. How's it going, dude? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. I don't know. I don't know if, if I can do that. You're enough trouble. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. <laughs> Lord has betrayed go with this. A little bit of this action. I know everything. <clears throat> everything. Like that time you peed yourself? You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't. He's not your friend. He's been using you. He's a fucker. I trusted him. You shouldn't have. I mean, look at him. He spilled Listen your to him, secrets. You know. So why not spill his? Yeah, yeah. Eye for an eye. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mouth for a mouth, I guess. In this case, you know. Talk. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. Ah. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Okay, noted. Noted. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Except me now, baby. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. That is army true. will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... Big old son of a bitch. You bloody traitor. Oh, we about to go after him. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm sh I'm she. Hi, how you doing? What up, fucko? What you gonna do? You, you gonna punch me? Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Oh, have I, though? Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. It's the handmaiden. Oh, he red. That boy red. You get out of here, you fucking you son of a bitch. Blood pressure going all up and what have you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And that was my story. Glad, not your best. The Kirby one was better. I, I, well, I mean, you didn't really give me much to work with, Jess. Fucking, what do you want from me? You're the improv? Love you, buddy. Love you too, pal. Yeah. yeah. So I got this rash on my 